Good morning. Um, I want to share a, a thought this morning from the Rebbe's book, which I've mentioned in, in past weeks. It's called Hayom Yom. It's a daily thoughts that Rebbe put it together in 1942, 1943, on the uh, Jewish calendar year there. And it's a little snippet of inspiring, uh, inspiration for the day. I think that uh, what today's thought is it should probably be heard in the context of the fact that we are in a period of time in the Jewish calendar known as the Omer, which is a, a, the bridge between Passover and Shavuos. It's the seven-week bridge in which the, the, our people, after their liberation from Egypt during the Passover uh, married events, they, they work for seven weeks. 49 days on self-refinement, on, um, on self-actualization, on, on bettering their character, their morality, their spiritual and human sensitivity so that they could be in an appropriate place to receive the Torah seven weeks after leaving Egypt. And we reenact re re that every single year. And the, today is the 20th day of the Omer, and on this day in the Rebbe's book, he, he calls uh, attention and quotes from a, a teaching of the Baal Shem Tev, founder of the Hasidic movement, movement, that um, Rabbi Shner Zalman, the founder of Chabad, heard from a, 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 um, someone known as Mordechai Atzadik great mystic of the time who had heard it from Baal Shem Tov. And this little snippet is, is something which I grew up with, my children grew up with in Chabad. It's, it's actually, it's part of a song that we sing as kids and, it, and, and uh, it's something that has meant more and more to me as time goes on. The, the teaching is that God sends us to the world with a purpose and it's possible for a person to live a long and fruitful life, 70, 80, whatever, 120 years on earth, and the, the primary purpose is to be able to do a favor for another, whether that's a material favor or a spiritual one. And again, we, we sing that, and then as I get older, I start thinking about that and say, you know, people can lead, hopefully lead productive lives, fruitful lives, and as we, we get older, and certainly when, when you reach a, a very fruitful old age, hopefully we can look back at productivity that goes well beyond doing a single favor for a certain person in a, in a specific time. I think the idea that the Baal Shem Tev was teaching, and this, the reason this is a, a core um, backbone to Chabad thinking, Jewish thinking, is that we all have days and hours that uh, we should be spending productively, constructively, certainly. But we don't know the divine plan. And many of the things we do are one things that could have been done by a lot of other people. It's we made the choice, we've done it, that's great. And that's, uh, you know, it, we've done good for ourselves and we've done, done good for the world. But what's about, what about our individual mark? Each and every one of us has a, a, an, an individual purpose, a specific purpose, something that we are born to, to contribute to the world that is, is ours. And if we don't do it, it's not done. And I think what the Baal Shem Tov is saying is that when we have an opportunity to help someone, a neighbor, or a spouse, or a child, or a parent, to do something for them, we should bear in mind that not, even if, if it happens to be a burden or we're not in the mood, so not only is this an opportunity to do something good, but it's very likely, or is likely, that what the good we're going to do now is something that really no one else can fill that position. And the need on the recipient end, which we can never fully understand, 
is one that it's up to us to fill. It's, it's our place, our opportunity, our mission to bring that goodness to the world. And if we don't do it, that will be left undone. And the Baal Shem Tov is, is asking us to look at the world in an empowered way and look at our opportunities, not to say that it's not a burden, it's an opportunity, is one upgrade in mindset. But not only is it, a, it an opportunity, he's saying that could be the opportunity that really actualizes your specific place in life. All the other stuff is good. And you can lead a 80, 90, 100 years of, of life very productive and you're a, a wonderful person. But each opportunity might be the or an opportunity that really distinguishes your contribution to the world over anyone over uh, in history or alive now or not. So in, in the thinking, of, of Chabad thought, of Hasidic thought, of Jewish thought. We want to see the opportunities of today where we have, uh, we will have opportunities to pick up a phone, to write an email, whatever it may be, or to say a nice word to someone who's quarantined with you. To be able to make a difference in someone's life and to, for us to see that, to magnify the cosmic potential and say this could be a, a really a cosmic and a life important opportunity for me. I may forget about it later. The recipient may forget about it in a year, but God doesn't. And each moment, each opportunity is potentially a lot more than what we appreciate it to be on this face. It's a great day and a day where we look forward to more and more good news as we walk towards hopefully achieving some normalcy in society.